Well, now that once again, people, it's Organ86 here with another episode of Freaking Epic Opara, Volume 2. In the last episode, we got gigantic boners for, uh, freaking coconuts and finally realizing all that shit, so. Uh, we're gonna continue and see how we're gonna deal with all that stuff. So, what's up, Videla? Everything's closed. Oh, fuck. Great, now I'm gonna have the lewd thoughts, especially when she was in that friggin' dress shirt from a couple episodes ago. It's beautiful. Alright, good work today. Thanks. I respond to Vanilla, who had popped her head into the kitchen with a wave of my hand. Uh, yes? She's probably gonna say no, but just in case, yes? Nah, I don't have much left to take care of. Thanks, though. You can go upstairs and watch TV if you want. The Tedebi. Okay, go and watch porn. Oh boy. It's gonna be about ch coconut and also chocolate, because both of them were on my ass earlier today. Hmm? What's up? Oh yeah. Something did indeed happen. This afternoon, I'm sorry, I cut you off. Fuck, I knew it! Okay, thank you very much for correcting those mistakes. I see. Yes, I do, but I don't want to tell you. No? Well, it wasn't really anything important. Well, I definitely know what happened. I spewed out something stupid and had to keep my eyes off her. It's all my fault that she fucked up. She gazes inquisitively at me as if she has something to say. Does she know? Or maybe she just suspects something. Which one is it? Or both? Just what is Vanilla thinking? I have no idea. <laughs> yes, I am the gigolo. Uh, for some reason... Yes. I don't understand how Chocola being excited makes me a pervert. Well, I banged both of you. I really have no idea what she's trying to say. Well, this isn't any different from her usual behavior, but... Come to think of it, you've got a package, Vanilla. It's from Amazoom! What? Don't tell me, it's toys. Is this what you ordered the other day when you two were celebrating? I'm just gonna change the subject for now. That's one way to get out of things. Oh, okay. Bye! I still have a package, probably. What's this all- Oh, what's this about all of a sudden? I watch Vanilla shoot upstairs at cat speed. There isn't anything for me to be guilty about, is there? I don't really want to hear anything more about what happened with uh, Coconut this afternoon, though. I knew it. I can't get her out of my mind now. Coconut's sensual expression suddenly appears in my head. I keep thinking about how soft her body was. And now Shigure, Chokla, and Vanilla are trying to egg me on. But I can't let them. If this keeps up... No, I'm mature enough to overcome this. Please, don't fuck my shit. What is it, head pat? Uh, no boob jiggle. What's that? Yeah, baby. Yes. Why, do you want to have an orgy? As you can see, Chocola, no, not yet. Unless you want to help... Unless you want to help out, I mean, yeah, I denied Vanilla earlier with her help, but I mean, so, but she doesn't sound very satisfied with that answer. And suddenly latches onto my back. I'll be done when I'm done. I don't think it'll take much longer. Why are you being so patient? You're acting weird, you know. Flashback to when friggin' Vanilla said that she's hot and bothered. What's with this attitude from her? It seems way too subtle a tactic for Chokla. She's normally much easier to understand than Vanilla. <clears throat> yes. I'm sure you are. Uh, yes? Her motive is pretty obvious. That's about what I'd expect from Chokla. I'm not sure how to respond to her. You know. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll unneglect you. Of course. Uh, relieve your stress, but we won't be able to do it on the PS4 version, so... Uh, just, just a little bit more and I'll pound you. She's 
totally trying to seduce me. She meows alluringly as she wraps herself around me. Vanilla wasn't kidding when she said Choco was hot and bothered. Oh my god, six hours? God damn, but then again, man, Nat Geo, their, their shit is uh, pretty crazy. Especially that... Fuck, what was the name of that program that was only six episodes? Uh, Hostile Planet. That one was a pretty crazy little thing, Malika Jigger. Oh man, you want to do it right here on the kitchen table? Smooch. Oh no, are we? Are we actually gonna be getting sounds? Is this gonna be? <laughs> I'm a head pat you while you. <laughs> I'm gonna head pat you while you smooch me. Tongue slurp. Tongue slurping sounds. Will this? I, won I wonder if they cut down on the uh, the erotic sounds. I guess. Wait for him readiness, I guess. Yes. Yes. As she tightly embraces me, she looks up at me with her glistening eyes and smiled. You really are spoiled, Chokla. <laughs> Yay! I think that's the first time that we ever heard some lip smack in this. In both. But then again, when I played Volume 1, it was still E-rated, so... I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I should replay that. Probably on my own time, or maybe I'll... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yes. Yes, we're very familiar with our mouth. Tongues? Yeah, I know you better than anyone. Even better than Vanilla, even though she's probably going to be poking her head out. <laughs> I know every nook and cranny and crevice and fissure and everything. Okay. okay, is Coconut peeking also? She's gonna be wondering. Yes. Choo. Who is it? Oh, yep, exactly. So, join in on the party, Coconut. Yes. Coconut's eyes widen as she holds the door open. Distraction time! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. She freezes the moment she sees Chocola and me. Chocola and I? Me? Immediately realizing what she stumbled upon, she averts her eyes and her face turns bright red. In a moment, this is gonna be you. What do you want? Uh, <laughs> you weren't interrupting anything. She shuts her eyes and shakes her head apologetically. No, it's a... Uh, it's our fault. No, you didn't suspect what was going on, and friggin' Choco is in heat. Yes? What's up? I'm sorry, but the door's already locked. Uh, uh, wait, wait a second. Hold on, wait a minute. I grabbed Coconut's shoulder, preventing her from leaving. Oh no! Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to grab you so hard. <laughs> In fact, it actually felt. Kimochi. Okay. Oh boy, you're feeling it too, aren't you? Yes. Yes and no. Oh, sorry. I quickly take my hand off her. Just a hair away from me, Coconut's fiddling with her fingers in embarrassment. She looks up at me with a hurt expression. I'm sorry. I stopped her from leaving, but what do I do now? I know that making up some excuse about all this wouldn't make things any better. And I can't just brush it off or change the subject either. Time passes as we stare at each other in silence. Whoever blinks first loses, and you just lost, Coconut. Huh? What? What for? Uh. Okay. 
Her eyes wander about, as her voice trails off to a soft murmur. With her arms crossed tightly across her body, she continues to speak, her face totally flushed. Yes? Oh boy, well, you've never done this before, so you, you know, no experience, but we're about to do some of that now. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta start from somewhere. Exactly. Do you want to try practicing? Practice with me. A long, pained sigh escapes her lips. She looks at me pleadingly as she bites her lip. Oh, we're about to teach you, bruh. Uh, Anatomy 101. Don't cry. God damn it, don't. I can see. Her heterochromatic eyes begin to fill with tears. I mean, they're awesome eyes. It's cool, but don't cry, please. Her slender fingers wrap around her arms as she gazes up at me pitifully. She lets out another anguished sigh from her half-parted lips. She's so damn sexy. This isn't the usual energetic coconut. This is a woman swept away by her desire. Her sweet voice sends shivers down my spine, and dick! I have the sudden, irrepressible urge to embrace her. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> Boop. Oh, you're- oh yeah, cause you're super sensitive being con. <laughs> and you, you're innocent as fuck. <laughs> she didn't like that. I'm sorry. Blah blah blah. <laughs> What are, what are you gonna do? I don't know what what this is gonna be. Oh. What's up? Uh. No, it's not. Yes. I can neither confirm nor deny. Yes. Yeah, she was. A super duper cute face. I'm suddenly and completely aware of it. I agree without even thinking. Yes. We are unfiltered now. This, this feels more, uh, romantic, but still, it's all cool, all right. The words ooze out of her as she squeaks, as though she's finally admitting something she wanted to keep hidden. Yes. Yes. She grins mischievously as she spouts her assumption, and she pokes Coconut's cheek with her fingertip. I know, right? Yes? Yes. Yep. What? Oh, fuck. If that wasn't the case, then we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> Coconut scrunches up her face and bites her lip. And then, she seems to give in. She lifts her head up just a little bit. Yes, but it needs to be a two-way street. Do you feel the same? Okay, there we go. With a quiet, trembling voice, she confirms what Chocolate had said. 
Coconut. Yes. Yeah. Hey, man. Okay, I'm gonna take responsibility. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well, she can't say the same thing, but... Her mouth twists into an impish grin. She deliberately licks her lips, making sure Coconut is watching and hearing because audible licking noise. Oh. Shoot. As she squeezes her eyes shut again, only her lips continue to move. Yes. Yes. Coconut trails off. Chocolate interrupts her by taking her hand. Yes. Yes. With suggestive words and glances, Chocolate explains the situation to Coconut. At this point, I obviously have no avenue of retreat. There ain't no going back from this, bruh. I tried not to look at Coconut that way, but head pat. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Okay, yes, I know, but honestly, I can't help but think that you're very cute. Yeah. Do you want me to kiss you? If you're all right with it, I want you to be my companion. <laughs> Alright, pucker up. I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm breaking the immersion, but... Uh... CG? CG? Oh, it's a hug. I mean, still, it's... It's cute as fuck, still. Coconut whispered with a soft voice that was unlike her normal self. That'd be... There you go. Awesome, CG. I put my hands on her shoulders. I can feel coconut shivering when I touch her. Are you scared? Well, I mean, it's the first time, bruh. It's super scary. That, that too as well. Scaredness and happiness. That too, because you don't want to fuck up the first one. Coconut? Somewhat firmly, I clearly call out her name. With a subtle look in her eyes, she, sh 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 she slowly looks my way. I said that you were an alluring and cute cat girl, didn't I not? Did I not, you stupid... Besides, just now I asked you, didn't I? If I could have that first kiss with you as my companion. Coconut, you should have more confidence. You're very much an alluring cat girl. And whammon. Well, if you want to take your time, you can, man. Don't rush things. Okay, just a little chew peck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Okay, get ready. Here comes the airplane. Coconut. Coconut's eyes were closed as I touched her cheek with my hand. I then gently pressed my lips to her smaller lips. Because, you know, giant small lips of doom. Just another CG look. Okay, smack them lips, bruh. Well, ain't that cute? It's nice and cute. Chew. She let me continue to feel the sensation of her lips. I gently stroked Coconut's cheek and felt its warmth and softness. With the distance between us having disappeared, we then slowly separate. 
love you, coconut. Damn! I'm sorry, more CG because cuteness. There you go. Bubble. Yay! We did it. Uh, I love you as well, coconut. Even though I said that already, but still, you know, you can't, you can't limit how many times you say I love you, bruh. I continue to stroke coconut's cheek. I clearly see that as I look at coconut's smiling face. He's nice. Are you gonna cry tears of joy? Yay! Ah, of course. I am also happy that you said that. Hooray! Awesomeness! Yay, confetti time! <laughs> okay, awesome. Capanion Senior. Where, where's Vice Senior person? Vanilla. Gonna show you the ropes. Coconut bashfully says that with embarrassment. And with a smile on her face, she closes her eyes to soak in everything. She really is adorable. Even though they say that cat girls don't get jealous, the chocolate and vanilla around, I won't say she didn't feel somewhat inferior to them. But yeah, because I mean, they've been around longer. But chocolate herself warmly welcomed coconut after all. It is the truth that coconut is cute. Even if someone was to say I was being unreasonable, these were my honest feelings. If I had any regrets, then from the beginning, I wouldn't have done this, you know, because of reason. I need to stop having these negative thoughts. Yes. I gave my cheeks a light slap. I don't know if you could hear that. Okay, I'll make it cream filled. Hooray! Alright, Coconut, why don't I bake a cake you like? Uh, as many as you want. I, I guess that depends. If they're cupcakes, sure. If they're maybe individual cakes, sure. But giant cakes, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. But in the moment, since I love the fuck out of you, sure, why not? Sure. Whatever and how many you want is fine. Exactly! It's for my cute Campania, after all. <laughs> You're super happy for the cakes. It's all like... <laughs> She's surprised. She's like, huh? She gets all the cakes? Oh, the booby bounce. She's excited because now that I'm her companion, she's like, unlimited power. Okay, good night. No. Good. Thank you. I forgot. But... With fruit? That actually does sound pretty good. Yeah, that, that sounds nice. Do you ever make those uh, freaking fruit cocktails? Those are pretty good. Fruit cheesecake. Do they even have fruit cocktails over there in the land of Nippon? Yes. I mean, yeah, I'll make you as many as you want, but so long as you don't run my supplies dry, so... You don't need to get flustered. Oh, and Chukla, can you go upstairs and get vanilla? She's probably too, uh invested in the friggin uh, excuse me in that hostile planet because remember that show is pretty crazy as shit and so after La Salle closed and the empty storefront we were surrounded by the cakes we made along with my three cat panions we ate until we were full and then friggin Azuki is gonna look through the windows like what the fuck is this what is it? Is it gonna be, uh, that CG with the... We'll see, what is, is it gonna be the CG? The CG. Yay! Even though it's not the one with the open blast, but still! Yes. Yes, we skipped over the smut. Just like before, Coconut is wearing one of my white dress shirts. 
She sits on the bed, looking apologetic as she plays with her hair. Chocolate and Vanilla are already asleep. So you're not doing anything wrong, Coconut. Also, I just want to take a look at that. And let that sink in, because that's nice. Okay. Uh, when we went up to the second floor later, Vanilla was long passed down in front of the TV. And when I took Vanilla to her bed to tuck her in, I found Chocolate already passed out in there. We couldn't very well fit three cat girls in one bed, so... I'm letting Coconut stay in my room for, for now. Yes. Yes, and also some good times that were not mentioned. I'm spoiling you. Let me spoil you. She mutters, playing with her hair nervously. Shigeru said that cat girls don't get jealous, and Chocolate was really enthusiastic about the whole thing earlier, but... I still get the sense that there might be some jealousy between them. Maybe this is just Coconut's way of showing her affection, though. Well, probably also because... Friggin' Chocolate and Vanilla cannot do the Paizuri! Don't be silly. It doesn't matter who is with me first. Chocolate and Vanilla are already fast asleep anyway. You don't have to worry so much. Or do you not want to be near me? I don't give two fucks. Though, Coconut, I grab her by the shoulder and bring her close, interrupting her. I whisper softly into her ear as I stroke her head. Like I said, it doesn't matter who was with me first. To me, Chocola, Vanilla, and you are all my beloved companions. Don't tell me you're gonna go and rub it in the face of Azuki later on. <laughs> Yay! She mutters, ca caressing my neck. Cheek, you dumbass! As if she's trying to keep that bliss from escaping. She presses her body against mine, and our lips meet. Yes! Yes! Yes, it'll become official later. I place my hand against the anxious coconut's cheek. This time, I respond by planting another kiss on coconut's lip. lips and patting her head. Isn't that a given? If you weren't my companion, I wouldn't be holding you like this right now. You don't even need to ask. Arigato gozaimasu. Yay! Coconut's smiling face moves closer to mine. I cradle her head, gently petting her. We are lovers! Okay, never mind. Yeah, we could do that. Yes, we shall spoon. Yes. Of course you are. I hug her again. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yes. God damn it. Sure, sure. Whatever you want. Two. Yay. I'm gonna love the fuck out of you. I can feel Coconut's natural warmth across from me. As the moonlight gently illuminates the room. And as the two of us drift off, we savor the lingering moments of today. Good night. Oh, good morning. Yay. Cat, cat, I got a trophy. No, she knows already. Yeah, but okay, I think I'll probably end the episode right here. It's a perfect time to do so. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to, and hit that notification bell icon button thing if you want to as well. And until then, this is Dorgan86, signing off.